Hey guys, this is App Review. Over the past couple of days, we've been taking a look at cases for the iPod Touch 4G from iFrogs. And today we'll be taking a look at the soft gloss case. This is the final of the three cases they sent out to me. And this is a TPU style case, and according to them, it's a sleek, form-fitting protective case featuring a contrasting etched pattern. This case offers excellent impact protection while repelling dust and lint. So TPU is sort of a mixture between silicone and rubber sort of and what you get is a jelly like material which is flexible but still rigid and as you can see right here this is a clear model it also comes in blue and pink and it features that nice etched pattern on the back which will highlight the chrome on the iPod touch so the case is very flexible like I said one of the major downsides is that this this little piece of TP right here is very 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 weak as you can see you can almost break that apart but other than that, it's pretty rigid and it feels great in the hand. It offers nice grip and good scratch protection and some minimal drop protection. So installation is very simple. I do have a front and back screen protector kit and it fits a little tight, but it does not bubble. So my guess is that if you don't, if you just have a screen protector on, you'll be just fine. So like any other TPU style case, you just got to pull up the corners and you'll be good to go. So here we go. And I do love the final look of that. As you can see, you do have a nice cutout for the camera. It's oval shaped and it does not block the microphone or the camera itself. So you do get clear, crisp pictures. Now, that etch design on the back is, I think, what makes this case great. You do have, like, sort of a... It reminds me of R2-D2 for some reason, but you, you guys can get your own conclusions on that but you do have a little circle here which highlights the Apple logo you can read iPod you can also read how much um, space or memory your iPod has and then right down there you do have the iFrogs logo now this is all etched on the inside so one it's very soft material so it won't scratch up your iPod and two it won't rub away because it is on the inside now taking a look at the buttons and all the cutouts at the bottom, you do have one large cutout for your 30-pin dock connector, your 3.5mm headphone jack, and the speaker. This is ample enough to let you use any any type of uh, third-party uh, third dock connectors. And even if it is a little small, you can just push this out of the way because it is so thin and flexible. Um, and like I said, I'm not a big fan of that. Now, on the side, you do have rubber coverings for your buttons. These don't have much of a response, but they are easy to press, and they feel pretty good in the hand. So you won't feel like you're pressing the button, but it, it is very easy to press. At the top, you do have that same button. You don't feel the press, you don't get any response, but it's very easy to press. And in the front, you do have a nice lay on the table design all around. It's minimal, but there's something there, as you can see. So this just covers the around the iPod screen. So if you were to drop this face down, it's so, so minimal that I don't think you'd get much protection there. But you can use this and put your iPod face down. So... The TPU material on this case provides some very good grip. The case just feels very rubbery and grippy in a sense. So if you have sweaty hands or something like that, this is probably a case for you. Now, the TPU material itself offers great drop and scratch protection. As you can see, this type of material does not scratch up. It just gets a little bit of fingerprints and some dust. Now, iFrox does say that it's anti-dust. It repels dust. and um, that's not really the case uh, for this case. Um, the truth is, just pick up some minor dust. And the problem, the main problem with this case for me, is you gotta clean out the inside before using it. If you have any specks of dust or anything, once you pop this on, you'll see those specks of dust, and they're very noticeable up against the chrome. So, other than that, guys, there's not much to say. In comparison to the other two cases, I'd say basically go for the Lux Original, then go for the Lux Lean, and then go for this one. It's not that I'm not a fan of this one. I just think the other two are much better. And I'd recommend this case for someone looking for good grip and keeping your iPod Slim form factor with this case. It's not too bulky. And this does retail for $24.99. Like I said, it does come in three color combinations. It comes in pink comes in clear and it comes in blue and they all feature the same etched pattern on the back so thanks a lot for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos now if you'd like to see a case review of your own if you'd like to see me take a look at a case that I haven't done so yet make sure to put that down in the comment section below and if I can get my hands on that case then I'll definitely review it for you guys so other than that thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned cheers guys